In this Patreon requested album review, I was asked to listen to Narrative, their debut full-length album from Fire from the Gods that was released in 2016. I was somewhat familiar with the name from hearing the song Excuse Me on Sirius XM and hearing a combination of several genres all in one song. It's only now that I get to dive into the band head first and really see what they are capable of. Fire from the Gods is a five-piece band based out of Texas that combines rock, rap, reggae, and several other elements into their music meant to leave an impact. The debut narrative, according to vocalist AJ Channer, goes from personal experiences to philosophical observations. With narrative, I wanted to talk about the political and sociological issues going on, along with what I've learned from my life's experiences. I think people really appreciate the honesty because I do as a fan when I hear someone open up from the heart. Personally, I become much more interested when I know an album isn't 10 tracks of tear down the house, punch your enemies, and party until you throw up. It gives more reason to believe the artist put in effort and wanted to make their music matter as opposed to filling up an album to reach an acceptable time length and get a payday. As I said earlier with my first experience with the band hearing Excuse Me, I felt like I was hearing an explosion of genres with a lot of volume. It definitely fit inside the realm of hard rock radio and many people can agree there isn't much like it on said rock radio stations. Excuse Me feels like a consistent transition of rap, metal, rock, and reggae, and then back into each other in different turns, all while the hard sound and speed stays consistent. The guitar riffs are strong and are loud, and don't overtake focus from the vocals. Lyrically, there is a lot to take in, and that goes for almost every song on narrative as well. When AJ Channer said he wanted to talk about political issues along with what he's learned in life, he really meant it and proved it throughout these 10 tracks. Redemption, revolution, living up to expectations of media and Hollywood, there is a lot to take in through many different styles of music that gets thrown at you in rapid succession from track to track. When you listen to this album from front to back, you will get a bit of audio whiplash. Just from the first three songs, the style goes from hard rock to a ballad to the previously played Excuse Me, which incorporates rap and reggae. And somehow, Fire From The Gods does this all extremely well. Nothing feels watered down or like an embarrassing intent. It also sounds natural in delivery. End Transmission was the song that impressed me most on narrative. The flow from the harmonic guitars and range in Chandler's voice makes everything go into this gorgeous sound. It was while hearing the singing voice that I instantly made a connection to LeJean Witherspoon of Seven Dust, and this song reminds me of that band in a lot of ways. I feel that in the combination and demonstration of so many styles that it's hard to focus on just one. It's like I said about the audio whiplash, where you'll hear one style and then get swung up into another. That's not a bad thing in this case, as they are organized and well-performed, but it's hard to appreciate the talent and meaning involved when you hear it from so many form so quickly. Songs like Diversion and Composition hit harder. Tracks like In Transmission and Evolve are a bit more melodic. It's going to really be a personal preference on which songs you go for in narrative, but that might have been the point and strength of Fire from the Gods. To not settle on one thing, but to rather give you as much music in as many ways as they can deliver. The music is solid and has good structure. Even if listening to this album from beginning to end may not have the flow some people are looking for, that might be by intention. Fire from the Gods will surprise many new listeners if they listen past the radio singles and may get sucked in by the wide spectrum they are capable of presenting. Fire from the Gods is now going to start getting some big stages with the Monster Energy Festivals and playing other venues across the US. If the following picks up and this band can deliver along with their performances on this album, then Fire from the Gods could be around for a long time due to their focus on wanting to make music with a bit more focus. Overall, Narrative is a bold and impressive debut from a band that seems set on throwing the kitchen sink at the rock world. If any of the styles or clips I've played in this video have piqued your interest, then you should give Fire from the Gods a chance as you might not find another band like it for a long time. <laughs> 